सो फाइनली वेट इज ओवर एंड वी आर हेयर विद द पी वाई क्यूज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पी वाई क्यूज ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग ई सी ई टू फोर नाइन सो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट बॉक्स हाउ मेन इफ यू आर स्केयर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट आई नो दिस सब्जेक्ट इज लिटिल विथ कन्फ्यूजिंग बट डो नॉट वरी जस्ट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड गो थ्रू ऑल द क्वेश्चन की पेशेंस यू विल रियली स्कोर बेटर इन इन दिस सब्जेक्ट टू okay so in this video we will see most important pyqs which has been questions which has been asked in your exams so go through all these questions you will get an idea how the questions will come in your interim and also most of the time happens things happen that the same questions repeats in your exam so go through these questions do not miss any one of the questions first question is an ideal diode under reverse bias condition operates as option a open switch closed switch either open switch or closed switch and last option is none of these so correct option is option number a open switch next question an ideal diode under forward bias condition operates as closed switch open switch either open switch or closed switch or none of these and the correct option of this question is option number a closed switch an ideal diode under forward bias condition operates as closed switch next question if the voltage across the p type and n type terminals of a diode is 5 volt and 2 volt respectively the diode is operating in reverse bias condition forward bias both in forward bias and reverse bias and last option is none of these and the correct option is option number a reverse bias moving to the next question enhancement mode is present in option a mosfet jfet tunnel diode and last option is pn junction diode correct option will be option number a mosfet enhancement mode is actually present in mosfet next question the concept of virtual ground is applicable in option a bjt option b mosfet option c diode and last option is operational amplifier correct option will be option number d operational amplifier moving to the next question guys all these questions are important do not think that this question is previously asked means it will not ask in your upcoming exams it can be asked and it will most of the time same questions repeat so take all these questions seriously and go through all this question if you don't know the concept now then also remember all these questions you will get if you get the questions from the previous year then you will get the questions as it is so just remember the answer you will score better there is no need to uh, know the concepts like this this is not that much important subject so just try to pass with a good score in this subject okay next question mosfet act as an amplifier in and just do subscribe the channel also guys you most of the you just uh, watch the video but do not subscribe the channel just do subscribe channel guys it's really motivate me to make such a great video okay next question mosfet act as an amplifier in option a saturation region option b active region option c cut off region last option is none of these correct option will be option number a saturation region next question bjt acts as an amplifier in option a saturation region option b active region option c cut off region last option is none of these and the correct option will be option number b active region next question a xor b is equal is equivalent to very simple question option b will be correct a xor b is equivalent to complement of a x nor b next question a xor b xor c is equivalent to what again option b will be correct complement of a x nor b x nor c next question the bjt as act a closed switch in option a linear region option b cut off region option c saturation region and last option is none of these correct option will be option number c saturation region <laughs> moving to the next question xor gate is also called option a inverter option b amplifier option c comparator and last option is bcd correct option will be option number a xor gate is also known as inverter 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नंबर ऑफ इनपुट इन केस ऑफ हाफ एडर आर वन टू थ्री फोर ऑप्शन बी विल बी करेक्ट द नंबर ऑफ इनपुट इन केस ऑफ हाफ एडर आर टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैरी इज ऑप्टेंड इन केस ऑफ सब्सट्रैक्शन एडिशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन बॉथ सब्सट्रैक्शन एंड एडिशन करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी वन ली कैरी इज ऑप्टेंड इन केस ऑफ एडिशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन The binary addition of one plus one is very simple and basic questions, and and I saw these questions. This is the most frequent questions. These questions asked in every, in fact, every year exam. So focus on all these questions. Although it's a very simple question, correct option will be option number D. Ah, uh, the binary addition of one and one is sum is zero and carry is one. Next question: number of AND gates required. For a one to eight multiplexer is option A two, option B six, option C is eight, and last option is ten. Correct option will be option number C eight. Number of AND gates required for one to eight multiplexer is eight. Next question. One is to eight D multiplexer requires how many select lines? Very simple questions. Option is two, three, four, or five. Correct option will be option number three. Actually, it it is a one is to two D multiplexer, so two is to power three is equal to it. So actually, three select lines will be there. Next question: How many NOT gates will be required for four is to one multiplexer? Option is three, one, two, four. Correct option will be option number C. Two is the correct option. Next question: Identify the building blocks of encoder. Option A: OR gate. Option B: AND gate. Option C: XOR gate. And last option is NOR. Correct option is option number A: OR gate. OR gate is the building block for encoder. Next question: Identify the type of circuit for decoder. Option A: Logical circuit. Option B: Sequential circuit. Option C: Combinational circuit. And last option is none of these. Correct option will be option number C. Combinational circuit is the type of circuit for decoder. Next question. TCTL stand for is it transistor complementary transistor uh, transistor logic or transistor complemented transistor logic, transistor capacitor transistor logic or transistor coupled transistor logic? Option D is correct only. Transistor coupled transistor logic is the full form of TCTL. Next question: D flip flop is also known as what? Which flip flop? Is it transparent, TTL, non-transparent, or none of the mentioned? Correct option is option number A. D flip flop is also known as transparent flip flop. Next question: T flip flop is also also known as which flip flop? Toggle, transparent. Set reset flip flop or none of these. Correct option is option number A. T flip flop is also known as toggle flip flop. Guys, C. D flip flop is also known as transparent flip flop and T flip flop is also known as toggle flip flop. Okay, so do not confuse. Remember the things. Next question. The and do subscribe the channel, guys. Eighty percent of you guys just watch the videos and leave the channel as it is. Just Hit the like button, subscribe the channel, please. Next question: The output of J K flip flop when J is equal to one, K is equal to one, and present state output is one is. So option C is correct. Both one and zero can be there. Next question: The output of S R flip flop when S is equal to one, R is equal to one, and the present state output is one is. Option A is correct. Invalid state. Moving to the next question, the race around condition is related with which flip flop? S R flip flop, J K flip flop, T flip flop, or T flip flop? Correct option will be option number A. The race around condition is related with the S R flip flop. Next question, the one of the major difference between flip flop and latch is that a flip flop is dash while the latch is dash. So actually. The one of the major difference between the flip flop and latch is that the flip flop is S triggered while the latch is label triggered. Guys, just remember these things. These questions is very important. Next question: 
In dash, there are different clock signal used to produce the output. Option A, asynchronous counter. Option B, synchronous counter. Option C, both asynchronous counter and synchronous counter. And last option is none of these. Correct option is option number A. In asynchronous counter, there are different clock signals used to produce the output. Moving to the next question, a dash is a dash in which the output from the last flip-flop is inverted and feedback, feedback as an input to the first. Option A, Johnson counter, modified ring counter. Option B, modified ring counter, Johnson counter. And option C, Johnson counter, Johnson counter. And last option is ring counter, modified ring counter. Correct option will be option number A only. A Johnson counter is a modified ring counter in which the output from the last flip flop is inverted and feedback in feedback as an input to the first. Moving to the next question, the next is state output of D flip flop when input D is equal to one and present state output is equal to one is option B is correct. Actually, one is the answer. And for the next question. The next state output of T flip flop, guys, do not con confuse. Last question was about D flip flop, and now we are talking about T flip flop. So, the next state output of T flip flop, where T is equal to 1 and present state output is 1, each option B is correct. 0 is the correct option. So, guys, this was the last question. Thank you so much for watching the videos. I will make the videos for the 4, 5th and 6th unit and uh, in the next upcoming video, I will discuss the most important 10 marks questions. 5 questions will be asked and uh, you need to attempt the 4 questions. So, I will provide you 10 simple questions and uh, most probably the 4 or 5 questions which will be asked in your paper will be from that 10 questions only. Most probably. So, Wait for that videos. Till then, subscribe the channel and hit the like button. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.